Hi everyone, my name is Sammy and I'm a solutions engineer here at Arise and today I'm going to cover best practices on how to select the best model when running LLM as a judge evaluations. Before we dive into the details, let's first understand how an LLM can be used to evaluate the performance of your application. By evaluating your model's performance, you ensure that it meets the desired accuracy, detects errors, and provides consistent high quality results. When your app begins to see real world data in production, it may begin to provide responses that are incorrect or hallucinate or repetitive, for example. LLM as a judge can detect these issues on a large scale by prompting an LLM to look for those issues. So for example, if you're looking to detect hallucinated responses, you would use a hallucination eval prompt template, which you can pull directly from the Arise library and then select a evaluator LLM to then produce that evaluation. So today we're mainly going to focus on how to select that evaluator LLM. So the first thing that we'll do is provide a golden data set that has examples of user queries, responses, as well as ground truth values that can be human annotated. And the purpose of these ground truth values is to then compare them against the LLM generated responses so that we can get performance metrics on each of our models. So let's hop into a collab. And here you can see an example um, golden data set. So essentially this is a golden data set for a document relevancy example. And so in this example, our application is taking a user query, which is this input um, column, and then providing reference documentation to answer that query. We are then using evaluations to determine whether or not that reference documentation was relevant or unrelated to the original query. So the next step is to create an evaluation model that uses LLM as a judge to assign a relevancy label to these same examples. So scrolling down a little bit, we'll begin by pulling in our relevancy prompt template from Phoenix's library of evaluation prompt templates, and then we'll configure our LLMs. So in this instance, we'll be using both OpenAI and Anthropic models to compare against each other. So let's start with GPT-4. We'll begin by instantiating our GPT-4 model, and then we use our LLM classify function from Phoenix to classify or evaluate each of the examples in our data set. So here you can see the same golden data set with our actual values as well as our GPT-4 evaluations. And then we can easily compare them against each other to see how well GPT-4 performed. So now we can calculate our performance metrics. And in this case, it looks like GPT-4 performed pretty well with an 81% accuracy score. And it also shows a balanced precision and recall for both relevant and unrelated categories. So we can also run this same process and look at these same metrics for other models. So for example, GPT 3.5 Turbo might be a good choice from a cost perspective. However, it looks like it performs significantly worse with an accuracy score of 55%. And it also looks like this model is particularly weak at identifying unrelated items with only a 7% recall. So it has the potential to miss the majority of our irrelevant cases. I also ran the same process for Claude 3.5 Sonnet, and it looks like it does show good overall model performance with an accuracy of about 77%, which is between the previous two models. However, looking at recall and precision, it looks like the model might slightly over predict the relevant class, showing that this model may potentially miss some irrelevant examples. So after comparing all three models, GPT-4 clearly shows the best overall performance with balanced metrics and the highest accuracy. So from a performance from its perspective, it's clear that it's the best model to go with in this instance. And now that we've decided to go with GPT-4, we can continue to spot check it through production by adding in explanations, which is a great way to stay on top of your chosen LLM as a judge. So here we updated our prompt template to include an explanation by assigning provide explanation to be true. And then scrolling down, you can see the GPT-4 evaluated data with clear explanations next to it as to why these labels or evaluations were chosen, making it clear why the LLM decided to evaluate the example the way that it did, which gives us further insight into this chosen model moving forward. And you can easily track and visualize all of this as new queries come in using the Phoenix Tracing page. So that concludes this session on best practices when choosing an evaluation model for your LLM applications. Thanks all.